Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Brandon Street Wholesale. And Reliant Ribbons. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, I thought it'd be fun to share a couple of Christmas projects. And these are from a live event I did at the Muskegon Museum of Art. I love a centerpiece like this. My inspiration for this was gonna be something that is a little bit different in coloration because I want something that's fragrant and I wanted to do something that could be a little bit more interesting for you. So, we're gonna add purple flowers to it. I thought this fun arrangement, we'd use some stock blossoms. And again, stock is just such an incredible flower. I love it because it's so fragrant. It smells like cloves. It's part of the Mathifolia family, and it's actually related to brassica or ornamental kale. That's a close, it's a close relative to that. The other thing about it is these are the male flowers, okay? You'll never see the female stock because the female stock has little tiny single florets and it's a spindly little flower, but it's in charge of producing seeds. And so it stays in the field. And then the guys all get cut and they all get made into arrangements, okay? <laughs> So, you know, yeah, all the work is being done in the field by the female flowers, okay? Guys, of course, yeah, see, of course, of course they are. Perfect. We're going to add some spray aster, okay? This beautiful centerpiece is going to last for the entire holiday. The flowers may expire, and when the flowers expire, you can simply pull them out and add some new ones. So, and if you wanted to change up color, you like purple right now, but maybe you want to do, you know, red later on, or add a little bit of burgundy, you can do that later on. You can do whatever you want. When they first started making limonium, and first started hybridizing it as a, as a cut flower, one of the things about limonium was it didn't smell very pretty, okay? And so what they did was they genetically went in and enhanced the through the hybridization process and hybridized it with hyacinth blossoms so that it would have a nice fragrance rather than a not so nice fragrance, okay? But what I do is I actually just take a stick and I just push it down into the foam. And so I can create a great little bow right at the front of my arrangement just by adding in a couple lengths of ribbon. You like that trick? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bow, and I thought that this was really pretty. This great ribbon looks nice on there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this. Now, because this piece of the ribbon is gonna be at the top of my bow, I'm gonna, I always cut it and make sure that it's decorative on the end. With making a bow, it all takes place in the pinch, okay? So we're starting with that end, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a loop. Now, so many of the ribbons that they make today are just as pretty on the front as they are in the back, but sometimes they're not. And I think it was beneficial to have them have two different sizes when I was a kid because it makes, it allows the bow to be prettier. So I've looped this this way, and so now this is the back towards me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip that bow over, and I'm gonna grab it in the pinch again. So now this is the front coming out this side, okay? So now I've created two loops, okay? So I've got two sets of loops on either side of my bow. And I always refer to it as a set of loops, a set of loops. So there's two sets of loops. Or the ribbon's coming out with this back side over here, okay? And the back side on that side, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll that over my thumb. And I'm gonna create the center of my bow, okay? That's the hardest part. And actually that ends up sending the ribbon out the side it was gonna be going anyway. So I attach that, 
and I'm going to do one more set. So now I have six loops, three sets of two. Rather than cutting this off and adding in streamers, I'm just going to make one big giant loop. And I'm going to make one more bigger giant loop. I've got two loops and I've got a tail down here. Then I prefer to use a wire. I like a covered wire. You could use a pipe cleaner. Works great. There's lots of things. So I love that. It was just like right in time. Pipe cleaner. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yes. All right. So I'm going to stick the wire, in, the covered wire inside there. It could be a pipe cleaner. It could be anything you want it to be. And then I twist it really tight. Now that's the important part is making sure that you get that twist nice and tight because that's what bunches everything together. Now I've got those two loops and I've got one more long one down here. So with the long one, I'm just going to fold it on itself so that when I cut it, I have a dovetail. My other loop, I can come to the center of that and fold it. Give me a dovetail on one side. Go back and just clean that up and make a dovetail on the other side. And then this one. So now I have five streamers off the bottom that all occurred. We are going to create a Christmas package. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our package. We've wrapped it. I've got four, or excuse me, three lengths of ribbon, okay? I'm going to start with the burlap. And I'm going to bring that up together. And we're going to tie it into a knot on top of the present. Now you'll notice that I left tails, okay? So those tails are going to be an important mechanic for us. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little guy. I just tied him over the top and I'm going to tie him into a knot as well. I'm going to go the opposite direction with my red one. And again, I'm going to tie it into a knot right in the center. Now if I wanted to keep all those knots together, I could easily do that by just taking the little green one and tying it to the other knot. And then everybody's together in one spot. I love this ribbon. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to cut off a length of it. And I'm just rolling the edge under. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it into the center of this and tie it into a knot. Because then I can just use these pieces like that. And it's not going to be like a big heavy bow in the center of everything. I showed you how to make a bow earlier, okay? But this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go in. I'm going to make two loops. And then I'm going to place that in the center and tie it into place instead of wiring it, okay? In the spot that I pinched it together. I'll grab that plaid and so just on one of those little lines, I'm just going to cut on one of those lines and I'm going to lay that in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to find that green, those two green tails from before and I'm just going to tie this over the top with those green tails. So what you're going to start to see happen is that the bow starting to form in there because I'm using different types of ribbon. <laughs> How pretty is a little poinsettia that's made of burlap? Oh. I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to use my, and I'm using a low temp glue gun. So then we can glue that in there. Okay, so it looks like that. I know. It would be adorable to have a little pine cone inside there. Now, I like being able to see the pine cone too. And it's a great accent there. 
You take it like this, and then what I did is I folded it at a right angle. Okay, so it's folded at a right angle. And then this is gonna be the tail that I hold onto, okay? And so what I do is I curl that up into a little rose looking thing. And then I fold this away from me and I just wrap it. And then I just gather it up together, and then I use one of my wires again. So with that wire, I just wrap it here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that right down inside there. <laughs> but yeah, pretty. Those are some fun ideas for you to deck the halls this holiday season. And remember, if I'm in your area giving a live event, come on down. We'll have a whole lot of fun with flowers. <laughs>